512 under cube root plus 1331 under cube root. How to solve this? So cube root means it is raised to the power of 1 upon 3. So 512 is raised to the power of 1 upon 3 plus 1331 is raised to the power of 1 upon 3. 512 we can write it as 8 raised to the power of 3 because when you will factorize 512 you can group in terms of 8 multiplied to itself 3 times then whole raised to the power of 1 upon 3 plus 1331 as 11 raised to the power of 3 then whole raised to the power of 1 upon 3. Now there is an identity where a raised to the power of m whole raised to the power of n is equal to a raised to the power of m times n. So this is 8 raised to the power of 3 times 1 upon 3 plus 11 raised to the power of 3 times 1 upon 3. So this 3 and this 3 gets cancelled. We have here 8 plus 11 equal to 19. This is our answer. Or we could write it in the form of cube and then cancel it with the cube root like here. Cube root of 512 is 8. We can write it as 8 raised to the power of cube. And then under cube root, this cube root gets cancelled with this cube and it simply is 8. When you factorize 512, for example, if you start it with the smallest number 2, you keep on dividing until you get remainder 0. So 2 times 2 is 4, 1 is carryover, it is 10, 2 times 5 is 10 and 2 times 6 is 12. Now 256, we can easily remember the square of 16 is 256. So you can do here directly 16. Now you keep on dividing by 2. Now if we can write 2 times 16 times 16. Now cube root means we have to write this, these number in the group of 3's. So we have to factorize this number in such a way that the numbers are in group of 3's. So 16 means 8 times 2. This 16 means 8 times 2. And this here we have 2. So this is 8 times 8 and this 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So we have 8 cube. We found that 8 cube is equal to 512. So cube root of 512 is 8. Now let's see about 1331. Now this number is divisible by 11. So 11 times 121 is 11. And then 11 times 11 is 121. So 11 cube. So this is how you find the cube roots and this is how you add them.